Uh, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Friday, 11 25, 2016, a day after Thanksgiving. Um, I want to thank everybody for their kind words. Um, one of my subscribers, uh, Darren, forwarded me a uh, Department of Justice memo dated March 14th. And I'm going to put the link in my video, okay? And it's regarding civil rights, all right? And, and everybody read this because it basically, it, it references child support. It references like, you know, traffic court or maybe, you know, yeah, I think stuff like that. I didn't read it all. I don't have it down uh, pat, but uh, here we go. Recent years have seen increased attention on the illegal enforcement of fines and fees in certain jurisdictions around the co uh, country. Often with respect to individuals accused of misdemeanors, quasi-criminal ordinances, violations, which is uh, like traffic fines and civil infractions. Typically courts do not sentence defendants to incarceration in these cases. Monetary fines are the norm. Yet the harm caused by the unlawful practices in these jurisdictions can be profound. Now, what they're saying there is that uh, it's very typical, it's probably going on in every jurisdiction, that, that these courts that are supposed to be enforcing the laws are violating your civil rights. Okay? Uh, further, here we go, uh, here, to help judicial actors protect individual rights and avoid unnecessary harm, we discuss below a set of basic constitutional principles relevant to the enforcement of fines and fees. These principles grounded in the rights of due process and equal protection, okay? Equal protection is very important. The courts are supposed to provide you equal protection. Required to file. Now, I'm not going to go into all that. I'm going to go here where, um, okay. In court systems receiving federal funds, okay? You know what that is, guys? Family court. These practices may violate Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, 42 U.S.C. 2000D, when they unnecessarily impose disparate harm on the basis of race or national origin, okay? Now, let's be real. You know, a lot of my uh, subscribers, you know, African-American guys who are getting screwed in family court, you know, and, and, and I believe wholeheartedly it's... It, uh, when I go to child support, I go to family court. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm one of the rare white guys I see there. So I, I know, I feel that they're, they're definitely discriminating against you guys. Okay? And, 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 and they're taking advantages. Um, I'm trying to get to where... Uh, okay. Now, I want you to look at this. I want you to judicial... I want you to, to take a, this copy... And forward it with your paperwork, and you're gonna you're gonna judicially notice the court or the judge or the support magistrate or whatever they're called in your your jurisdiction. Okay, we urge you to review. Hold on a second, sorry. We urge you to review court rules and procedures within within your jurisdiction to ensure that they comply with due process, equal protection, and sound public policy. We also encourage you to forward a copy of this letter to every judge in your jurisdiction to provide appropriate training for judges in the areas discussed. What you're doing is you're judicially notifying them that they're supposed to follow the rules. Now, this is coming from the Department of Justice. Every judge in the United States is supposed to be guided by the Department of Justice. Okay, so it's very important that you, uh, you, you copy, you, uh, you, know, you hit on the link, Read this, okay? Okay, uh, Amin Osiris did a video on this a while ago, okay? And what it is is that uh, <clears throat> these support magistrates in family court, they have a pecuniary interest. That means a financial stake, okay? I, I have uh, I discovered in New York State that support magistrates, 66% of their salary is reimbursed from the child support fund. So... Remember, I keep telling you guys, 66% of all uh, child support is reimbursed by the federal government. So that they're, they're encouraged to create child support because they're paying for their salary. That's completely illegal. It's so illegal. It's insane. 
It's completely insane. It's like going to a, a judge. There was a judge in Pennsylvania who got convicted of 20 years. This kid, this guy was sending children to prisons because the prisons were uh, were privately funded. And I, I believe he was being paid money. So he was putting all these, these, these you know, adolescents, juveniles in, in, in prison. One kid committed suicide. It was a very serious crime. And, and it violates this. It's, it's called the, um, okay, it, it's uh, Ward versus Village of Monroeville, Ohio. And it's another one. It's called Toomey versus Ohio. And it states that uh, if a judge receives a direct or indirect, meaning like, like child support, child, that's why you, uh, you very rarely see a judge and, and family court. A lot of, like, my case, for instance, I know more than they do, I guarantee you. Because uh, the one judge that I have, he's a new judge. I have a feeling he has no idea. But the, the, the federal child support money is, is deposited into the state treasury. And it pays all the salaries of, of all. That's why when I go to family court, these people are tripping over each other. And when uh, I was in court um, the day before, I discovered I had the winning lottery ticket. You know, like my last video, <laughs> my one friend goes, yeah, you had the winning lottery ticket. You didn't even realize it, which is hysterical. That's how stupid I am. You know, I, you know, I, I was, didn't want to read it because I, I just saw, I just keyed on some words, you know, he did, because at the end he dismissed a certain part of my motion, but he, but he granted the other part, obviously, when he, he vacated the support order. So I, you know, I, I had it in my bag for a week. Anyway, the day before I went there, uh, and I was trying to see the judge, thank God he didn't see me. I might've said something stupid, you know, not realizing he did me a favor. That's the reason why he wanted me to go to court. Because he was, it was good news. He was like, "Hey, come to, you know." Basically, he was giving me a message here. Here's that order you finally wanted. Anyway, my uh, a friend of mine that I grew up with is a court officer there, and you know, I, he he has he can't be involved with my thing because we grew up together. But anyway, we were talking, and and one of the guys he was working, uh, you know, when you go through the magnometer, the security checkpoint when you go into court, and the guy he was working with, I was talking to, and I said to him, I go. I was telling him about the uh, the federal child support. He had no idea. He goes, what are you, what are you talking about? He goes, well, what, I go, you didn't know that, that the, the child support, the, the federal government, uh, you know, provides federal funds? The child, he goes, I, I didn't know that. Where, 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 where's the money coming from? I go, the federal government. Why do, you think that they're, why do you think they're screwing guys over so much here? So it, it shows that, like, like these guys, are, you know, they, they have no idea. They're just told. Like, I just can tell you from, from me being a police officer, like, you know. Guys just, okay, you know, you, you're in a classroom, you tell somebody to do something, and they're like, okay, he said so, without doing their own research. You know, I learned that the hard way when I was a police officer, when I had, <laughs> I was told by guys to do this, next thing you know, I'm, I, you know, when I first started making arrests, I'm in court, and I got a, a lawyer, I want to stand, and I get embarrassed, well, I learned very fast to, to do my own research, which is what happened here. I mean, <laughs> you know, I, I first hired lawyers years ago. And, and being, you know, again, I was a police officer, went to court many times. And I'm like, this isn't operating like any court that I'm familiar with. And I would get this, uh, well, uh, yeah, but this is family court. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't want, what's this butt stuff? You know what I mean? Like court's supposed to be court, you know? Yeah, yeah, but it's family court. No, rules are rules. The Constitution never changes. And that's what this is all about here. All right? So uh, everybody. I'm going to leave the link, hit on it, all right? One of my subscribers, Darren, I'm not going to use his last name, great guy, send it to me privately. And you're, judicial, you're going to judicially notice everybody that they got to follow due process. This is a very, very important. That's why I'm at 6.30 in the morning making this in New York. All right, it's very, very important, all right? So again, print it out, make it a, a, make a, make a motion, for judicial notice, wherever you live, just put in judicial notice, whatever your local court rules are, whatever, look it up. And the court is supposed to take judicial notice of the law. And that's what this is right here. All right, listen, uh, you guys have a nice day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.